What's up guys, Lucas here and welcome back to yet another video. I am super excited because today we are talking about one of my favorite amino acids, taurine. Now, many of you will already know that I've spoken about taurine uh, in my podcast, which I'll link below. Um, but for those of you who are brand new, I've spoken extensively about some of the fundamental health benefits of taurine. And today in this video, I'm going to explain one uh, key area that taurine really shines and that is with social anxiety. So just based off uh, personal experience, I know that I subjectively notice a reduction in internal chatter, racing thoughts and general social anxiety when I'm like meeting new people or at a party when I take taurine. And a lot of my clients have also mentioned the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share some very fascinating research studies um, that I've found. So let me just quickly share my screen and sort of explain how taurine is able to achieve this effect. So the first thing is that taurine can actually modulate the release of um, oxytocin. Now, oxytocin is that love bonding hormone, that hormone that increases trust um, it really modulates our fear response and things like that. So funnily enough, uh, taurine was able to increase oxytocin release, although it is in rat um, uh, neurons, uh, it does hold promise in humans because many people do report, you know, increased um, sociability when they take taurine. So, and the effect that was, the effect was actually achieved through agonizing the GABA A receptors. Now, that's the same receptor that alcohol binds to just for your information. So when they blocked the GABA A receptor, taurine did not release or increase oxytocin. So that's really interesting. That's the first study. The next one was highlighting the fact that taurine actually restores the exploratory behavior following alcohol withdrawal um, and decreases BDNF mRNA expression in the frontal cortex of chronic alcohol treated rats. Um, so we know that alcohol withdrawal can um, lead to an increase in anxiety. Um, but what's fascinating is that uh, taurine was able to restore and correct some of those um, anxiety based responses that um, occur following alcohol withdrawal. Uh, so We'll give you a quick summary of some of the other unique effects of taurine. So taurine, I've mentioned this before, has osmoregulatory, so that's um, balancing electrolytes in the body, uh, antioxidant, neuroprotective, um, and it shows anxiolytic-like effects in mice and zebrafish. Uh, chronic, chronic treatment actually induces an antidepressant effect in diabetic rats. It prevents glutamate-induced neurotoxicity. I've spoken about that numerous times. Um, and it also alters the mRNA expression of GABA receptors. So I'll show you the next study. Um, so, so antidepressant dose of taurine increases the mRNA expression of GABA A receptors. Um, so, but this obviously is, is occurring in um, diabetic rats, but um, the mRNA expression is pointing towards a long-term increase in GABA tone over glutamate excess. Keep in mind, GABA and glutamate um, are sort of antagonistic to each other. They are both made from the similar resources. Um, by the way, guys, if you love learning about the brain and hacking and neurotransmitters, join my free Nootropics Masterclass. I break down some of the most um, cutting edge nootropics and hacks to upgrade your performance, whether that be struggling with motivation, mood, anxiety, things like that. I explore that in more detail. Um, and this was the, was this, no, that, that was pretty much it. So that, that's, that's all I had for you guys today. I just wanted to break down yet another unique feature of taurine. I will um, mention that I do have a full episode on taurine. Um, so you guys can check that out. Please hit that subscribe button below if you've enjoyed this video. Um, please share the video around, leave a comment, and I'm happy to respond. Uh, otherwise, thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.